Lisa Edelstein is on the phone. Hi. Miss Cuddy on my favorite show. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Uh, so good to have you on the show. Boston native, my favorite show house. Uh, so I don't know if I can really take credit for being a Boston native. I was born there, but I moved away so quickly. Well, you know what? I knew that. I was just trying to... Well, uh, you know what? You had to spend ten minutes here we adopt you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't care if you fly over Boston, you're one of us. How's that? <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing. in Cambridge for a summer, does that count? Yes, that definitely counts. <laughs> I saw in your bio that you went to the Tisch Drama School at NYU. Is that true or is that wrong? That is true. That's true. Because my daughter graduates from Tisch. Um, for undergrad? Yeah, she's graduating this spring. So I hope you don't mind I'm sending, because, you know, as an alum, I'm going to send her out to your place in L.A. Hey, hey, no, hey, you can take her to an audition. I'm a dropout. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's right. See, what I, so I spent the full $250,000 <laughs> yeah. for nothing? Wow. Everybody was scared that it's the migrant and the family that it's going to be a dropout. Wow, so you, I, I, I screwed up. Like, I told her to drop out. I told her to drop it out. What school were you with? <laughs> Which school were you with? She was Stella Adler. Who were you with? Do you remember? You know. um, I started at Circle on the Square. I don't know if they have that program anymore. And then I ended up in the East Star Hansel Theater Wing, which is where all the strange people were. Well, I didn't think any of those people got work. They're all doing those things where they just stand up and people go to a show. <laughs> with them. They're and standing there dressing. It, actually, it was a lot of fun because that's the kind of thing they'll only do in college. Um, but uh, it really was... Um, I, I loved it, but I just finally realized I was taking classes like circuit. <laughs> I decided it doesn't seem like something I should be. Well, she. In college, it seems like something I should just go out and do. Well, my so, daughter always. And I wrote a musical instead. Oh, there you go. Well, my daughter always gets cast as whores and everything she's ever been in for some reason. She's very clear like mine. Well, she's very kind. I know. And then weren't you like in West Wing? You were Rob Lowe's hooker uh, right. with the heart of gold. I and then in Allie McBeal, you were like a guy or something, weren't you? I was a transgender. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. Well, she's doing everything right except she, but she's graduating, so she screwed up there. I'm so sorry. Though this uh, coming Monday, yeah. uh, on House, and I'm not joking about it, it's my favorite show. I never missed an episode. I love that oh, show. That's nice. And uh, I love his hairpiece. Oh, my God, that's so realistic. Is that like a spray-on thing, or is that, how does that work? I don't pay attention to what they do on these heads. Yeah, there's got something going on on top I so. just, um, to me, I turn around, and that's what it looks like. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so, so here's the deal with uh, Connie, or Lisa, uh, uh, that um, this Monday's episode is all about you, right? It's this Monday or the following Monday? It's this it's Monday. Monday. This Monday, it's, it's all through your eyes, correct? Yeah. So that should be fun. I mean, but all the characters are in it, right? I mean, House is in it and everybody's in it, right? Everybody's in it. Everybody's in it except you take from from her perspective. And so the case, there's a case going on. There's um, some terrible risks being taken <laughs> um, all while she's turned around the hospital. And so it really informs the audience as to what the, the other side of the world for to play for is. I haven't seen it, but I hear it's pretty um, fast-paced and... Um, people seem to like it. I'll tell you something. You've got it. I think you're great, and I think Hugh Laurie is great, and, and Sean is great, but great acting, no question, but superb writing. So much better yeah. than so many other TV shows. These oh, guys, yeah. your team, so oh my God. So it's one thing to be on a show that's successful, but you could be on plenty of shows that are successful that you just think are incredible. Yeah. Um, well, it's, the, one, uh, it's really, it's really well written. That I'm proud to be a part of. Yeah, well, you should be. Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing that I'm not happy about. Okay. So last year, was it last year? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I'm just So you finally get to make out with House, and then it turned out to be some kind of hallucination or some weird thing. What's up with that? Well, I think the only good news about that, well, there were several things that were good. First of all, you really did make out. So do you have that? That's right. Yeah. I mean, just because it was a fantasy on the show doesn't mean we didn't shoot it. Okay, okay, so there's that. That's a, um, that's a plus. Second of all, um, he, uh, I think it was a great reveal inside the head of the uh, house. That that is oh, it's a great show. It's a great, oh, God, it's fascinating television, no question. I, but, I just think it says a lot that that's what he wants, even though at, the, at that point in time he was completely incapable of having. Um, and, and so even though it hasn't gone forward yet, the fact that it was a 
was what he wanted was confirmed that before that it really hadn't been. Now that we know that information, we kind of move along assuming that that's true. But before that, before that episode, it really kind of went, it really could go either way as to whether or not he really wanted Dr. Craig. Well, here's the thing. I figure he's got to get one of the things back, either you or his Vicodin. Because right now, the poor slob's got me either. Right. I'm just saying. I don't know what's going to happen. They don't tell me. Is that true? You know, I've interviewed a lot of actors. It's not because, I think it's really just because they don't want anybody getting attached to a storyline that they might change. Is that what it is? Because I, I've interviewed a lot of actors, and you all say the same thing. You don't know, you don't know, you, you know, on TV shows. And, yeah, and movies are different. Yeah, it's different on every show. Yeah. But, and, you know, I, I think Lost, for example, that, that that they're really tight their storylines. Um, but, I, you know, as the writers, the writers are kind of making it up as they go along. <laughs> um, so if something happens that becomes inspiring and they shift around the whole idea that, that they had told you about previously, then they have to deal with your disappointment. Well, you had, uh, when you had Cal, he left to go to uh, work for President Obama. That's right, and so I was they kind of to decide. Yeah, and so, oh, I guess we'll just kill him. <laughs> and yeah. they just killed him, yeah. dead. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. And then with Jennifer Morrison, what's going on with her? You keep bringing her back, sending her out, she comes, she goes, she's still well, in the I, 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 it? <laughs> no, I know you don't, but I mean, you know, that's you in the cafeteria and hear things. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Jennifer, um, Jennifer is uh, coming back around. Um, she's, uh, but she's off doing a Broadway show. She's having a good time. She's She's a very talented, lovely young lady. So but they didn't kill her, so they didn't kill her. Exactly. They just split exactly. her up with her boyfriend, her husband, or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. When they kill you, you that's it. No, you that's it. Yeah. I mean, actually, we did have Amber come back as a, as a hallucination. Yeah, that was good. You killed Amber, and, come back. and then she came back as like a ghost. Yeah. Not a, it wasn't a ghost, it was a hallucination. Oh, right. That was the Vicodin LD deal. And then Amber exactly. was a hallucination, too. Wow. Well, this is complex. Anyway, if you like House, and most of our listeners love the show, uh, you have to see it this Monday because it's Cuddy's. It's all about Cuddy. Yeah, it's all about Cuddy. It's all about Cuddy on Monday. All right. Well, I, I mean, I am a big fan, all kidding aside, and I, I, I love your work and I love the show. I really appreciate that. It's very nice to hear. Look at me. So even though you're not really a Bostonian, we consider you as I know. something. Okay, thanks, Lise. Nice talking to you. Bye. Bye. Okay, thanks. So Kendra makes this big thing. Oh, she's from Boston. No, but they, that's what look. they've always said. She was only covering the improper Bostonian thing from here. That's all, that's all you ever read. She and was sort of from here. I mean, she was she went out of her way to say she's not from here. No, that would just be She's so hot. <laughs> she doesn't seem like your type. Oh, I think she's hot. I love her. Yeah, she's, she's, she's you such think she's right. very hot. Yeah. If she's very curvy. You like girls that look like boys. You like hot uh, Actually, she's, she's gotten a lot less, if you'll notice. She's less. really very, very, very thin. Yeah. She's still pretty curvy. She's hot. I think it's the outfits that they put her in. You think she's padded? No, I think that they're just, they're just, they're very tight. Everything that she's wearing, notice, has been, like, really altered to just, like, fit like a glove. See, I'm, I guess I'm just not up on tailoring. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, I just she feel so She has the best clothes. Yeah. I just feel so It's because they fit her so well. So what are you saying? She's actually not curvy? No, no, but I think that it, she is, but I think that the clothes accentuate it. How does that explain Bill? Well, you know, I was, I've always thought she was hot, and while you were talking, I was scanning her weapons and getting all the mm -hmm. different. Well, that's sort of crevice that she shows up at. Mm -hmm. Well, that's creepy. Yeah, so I'm talking to this little bit about the draft of acting, and you are looking at her it's dirty pictures of her, because I think she's hot. Yeah, she is. She's yeah, very, 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 very,